Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike. It's Dan. This story is ridiculous, but I'm glad it happened because I really want to talk about it. I laughed so hard when I read this, and I'm. Here's the thing: none of us can see the evidence right now. We don't know where the evidence yeah, I is. I want to see it eventually. If you've never been to China, right? There are a lot of t a lot of places where aunties just. Well, if you go to Chinatown in right. New York or right. sure LA or San Fran, right? There are probably locations in a park where right. there'll be these aunties. You're just dancing. They, they, this is a real thing, guys. If you go to New York Chinatown, all hours of the day, you will hear ballroom music playing, and aunties and uncles even, yeah. mostly aunties, will literally just be like, but but take that up a notch in China. So that happens in America. I've seen it in China. This is, I bet you it's, I've never seen it. I've seen it, and, and it could be like, it, it's like, they, they love to dance. Yeah. People, it's a misconception that Chinese people don't like to dance. Right. Aunties oh, and they uncles, love to dance. especially, love yeah. to dance and sing too. So this guy, this guy goes and he decides to get down with the aunties a little bit and boogie some moves. Where's the footage? On the, on the dance floor. Where's the footage? And until, well, here's the thing. Until he realizes that the passerby, people who were watching right. these guys, right. they were like basically taking photos, videos, whatever, naturally, and laughing at him. What he thought was laughing at him. I don't think they're laughing. I don't, I don't know. know. I, they I, could be. They could be. They could, they could be. Over they could there. be. But I guess Depending he was, he was getting all like yeah. all into Boogie it, down. and uh, he he said these people were laughing at him. Yeah. So to stop the ridicule before they post his pictures online, to stop that, he decided in his mastermind grand plan to, I kid you not, destroy the internet. <laughs> First of all. How do you even destroy the internet? Like this, bro. No, what's that? Yo, he goes, he goes over to. First of all, how does he even know that this? Like, I don't, yeah, I don't I, know where this is. If I want to stop, like, short circuit something, yeah. I don't, even, I don't know the first thing about what to do. Like right now, if you were like, Dan, stop inter internet signals from sending out, I would have no, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Well, Go he, find a satellite. He kind of got it correct. So he went to this like this box. Yeah. And basically just destroyed it. I, I think had, this had nothing. I think he's lucky that somebody, because somebody didn't send the footage out to like Weibo or something, right? Well, uh, here's the thing. It only stopped the internet for like that little area. I it's don't not even, even like. You, it's you, not. It's, he, this it's is not like he, do, he can't yeah. take down the internet. No, I, I think that he he just got lucky. You think that this this is the internet? This is just some like. No, that's basically you know, like like I don't know like I don't know how it works, but maybe right. you go to like a Comcast box. Yeah. That's responsible for like uh, the neighborhood of San Jose or okay. something. And you destroyed it. Maybe oh, the maybe, internet will be maybe. out for that little area. But not but on, no. That's but not no, the but, world. But not on your phone's satellite. Think about that for a second. Your, everybody's phone in China, like ours, has a satellite connection. It's, uh, you probably just destroy one one tower. Yeah. Or something. One something to do with a tower. Right. I don't know how this works, but right. you, you can't destroy the internet. I think no, you can't. Like I don't know how the internet even works. I think it's it's the entire world internet is housed in like a bunch of computers and some oh, super secure. I've no idea. I don't. I mean, I don't I, know I don't exactly know. how that works. But the crux is, he thought he was destroying. It. He thought. Yeah. He went over and he destroyed the internet. And if you could destroy the internet that easily, yeah. I mean, a lot of people would have done it. A lot of people would have done it. I mean, that's that's really easy. You just you literally oh. just break open a box. He destroyed four of them. Yeah. Four. He went around the foot. So he went around the first one. He's like. Jarred it open, broke it, and then he's like, "Yeah, this ain't enough. This ain't enough." How do you even go find them though? No, I mean, is there like a internet box locator? This should be a plot for a movie that's a satire because, like, it's literally if someone talks about destroying the internet, you're, yeah. you're literally thinking about some Mission Impossible thing. Oh, definitely. Where Tom Cruise definitely. is stopping this mastermind from turning the world into the Dark Ages or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Or, or stop people from playing Pokemon, right. or some grand scheme, evil right. scheme. No, or kill people using and the then, internet. And then, and then it's this guy who yeah. wants to do it because he has embarrassing pictures he doesn't want people to see. So this dude was arrested and charged, and he's facing, dude, his boneheadedness, he's facing $100,000 a yuan in damages. That's a ton of money for yeah. a China. Re unless you're a rich, uh, like, official, you don't just have which $100,000. he doesn't look like he is. Which he doesn't look like he is, so if he's convicted, I mean, this dude just is gonna go to prison all because he didn't want him and for all he, this is this is the stupid thing, right? For all he knew, he could have been the next internet sensation, like that crazy auntie that eats. Well, I'm sure anything. he doesn't want to be the next internet sensation. He don't want to be the the dancing guy. 
I mean, now he's an I, international sensation. Yeah, for bone. I mean, what's boot. what's more embarrassing? Right. Pictures of you dancing, right. which like think about it. Any random pictures of anything it doesn't matter. I mean, okay, right. a video might be a little more incriminating. Right. Still, people love goofy dancing. Yeah. Guys. That or trying to destroy the internet. Yeah, and getting arrested for it. I mean, I definitely dance with the aunties. But, but thank you so much for that story, guy. That's I mean, that's that's. Oh my so gosh! Please. Please, let's find, if anybody of you guys out there finds this footage somehow, definitely let us know, because it would, you know would be, you know would be the worst? If he went to prison, owed the money, and people released the footage. I'm sure they're releasing the footage. And then this guy's basically sitting in his prison cell, and everyone's like, yo, that's you, bro. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, no one, there's no TV in Chinese prison cells. What do you, what do you, there's no, not, I don't think there's TVs. I don't know. No, not. there's not, there's not, I know. Probably, really? I, I know a guy who went to prison in China, he told me. Yeah. No. Yo, you know where prison is not bad? Where? Nordic countries. <laughs> We're literally, Probably. they're just, no, no. I'm no. serious. They're, they're literally just chilling. Yo, I, I, we should do a, we should do a list on the least hardest prisons to do time in. Maybe like a French jail or something. No, I'm telling you, it's all in the Nordic countries. I bet. It's, it's I all bet. there. I, I read about this. It's all there. This is, this is insane. You know, so we'll, we'll look into that. That'd if be you guys want to watch maybe that video, we'll have it on our new channel, Beyond Science 2. Put a link in the description box for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.